so we're doing this the stick adventure here this is a five five gear front uh, car so it's one two three four five and then reverse so reverse there's a clutch there you push the clutch let's reverse and so you prevent it from rolling add a little bit of power there and when you feel the car jerk you really sad we're staying on a hill right now um, so everything roll like like when you when you park the car and it's not supported by anything you can roll so you need to be careful look that's a hill that's a hill that we're going down So we stopped at uh, Super Christian number four. That's uh, the grocery store like five minutes from our house. And we are at a hot spring, the only hot spring that is free to get into. That's, uh, that's an hour now. It's quite a hike to get here. It didn't look like much, but it's okay. Uh, we didn't show you how to get how to get here. Uh, we'll do that at the end because we're carrying a cooler and cameras and all that stuff, so we, we didn't have any hands to like film or take pictures or anything. But this is the only this is the only spring in Arino that you can get to that is free of charge. It's like right by the roadside, and uh, we got here. We brought some drinks and yeah, we're just chilling. It's moss on all the rocks, so your butt slides off. I'm like freaked out something's gonna go up my undies, my bathing suit. I got some uh, shoes at Walmart that were only like $10, but they're water shoes. And when we started walking up here, I didn't have them on, but then when I put them on, it makes life a lot easier. You can't control the rocks that move, because, you know, but uh, at least the slipperiness, it's not so slippery with these on. And you're not worried about when you step on something weird. It's beautiful out here. It's kind of like, I want to take a million photos, but I'm scared to take my phone out because it's so clumsy. But yeah, I would recommend it. And it's cool that this is free. Well, I don't know what the other ones are like, the ones you pay for, but for this to be free, and we have the whole place for ourselves right now. So, I'd highly recommend it. It is definitely worth a trip for anyone that's what that wanting to come to a hot spring. Don't go spend thirty dollars a person to go to a hot spring when you can have all this yourself. And plus, it's like running water. So, but if you come on the weekends, there's a lot of like, if you're sketched out by people, there's a lot of like local people that come here. They don't bother anybody. Anybody, because uh, people from Costa Rica are very nice people. I didn't think about that. We're not probably working right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, for a Tuesday, you have all this gear stuff here. Yeah. Alright, so we're making a little lunch. Honey mustard in a package. Yeah, we're gonna put it in sure the salad. I'm not sure how this works. What? I'm trying to figure out how this works. <laughs> Drinking water is very important. So, because. Stay hydrated. You don't realize it because you're in the water, but right now I'm like pouring sweat. So it's making me dehydrated. Plus, we're having some drinks. So it doesn't help the situation. You gotta, you gotta drink water. We're in a hot spring and we're sweating and all that stuff, so you get dehydrated so fast. So, we brought, uh, we brought some water with us to stay hydrated. How'd you sell it? I like my salad too. I said I was gonna show you guys how to get to this spring. It's basically close to that hotel over there. And then uh, you can park on the roadside here like everybody else and then uh, it's next to this building over here if you see this building that's how you get there and then next to that sign over there that, that's how you get down to it uh, and this is a small parking lot uh, and that's how you get to it so basically if you want if you want a really cool spring 
Don't go pay for that stack of commercial shit that they have like swimming pool and the bar. Just bring your own cooler. We brought our own cooler here. And then uh, we went down there. It's a little bit of a hike, so definitely. I recommend not bringing very much. I mean, I know we brought a cooler, but I'll just bring like water and some drinks and I'll eat before you come. I don't even have to worry about trying to eat up. Okay. Water yeah. shoes. You need water shoes. Yeah, water shoes. Definitely need water shoes because there's rocks as you're walking and then, um, yeah. The rest of it is just peasy easy. You have a great time. So we just came back from the spring and refreshed, rested a little bit. And so we just gonna go down the street. There's a little street that we're gonna hop around at and uh, get a pizza or something. What do you think, baby? Want some pizza? Mm -hmm. so I want some pizza from Costa Rica. So what happened? Did you have a good day today? Yeah, it was fun. I thought die at first because it's so hot out and then you're sitting in hot hot water like you're in a spa but it ended up being nice we met some people we met some people from germany scotland germany scotland and canada in canada and then some other americans came from texas yeah that was really cool um, it's amazing to see how how much people uh, how far people come to go to that to the spring i'm yeah. surprised all those people knew where it was um, I mean, they've read, they've read on it, you know, yeah. they've read about it and so, yeah, definitely I would highly recommend that spring, don't, don't go pay $30 to that, to the highly commercial shit, don't do that, it's, it's pointless because you're gonna go pay $30 to go in that, to go be in a hot swimming pool, that's bullshit, don't do it. So, but go to that if you want to have the best experience go to that uh, natural spring that we just went to yeah so that's where we at this pizza is all i dream it to be. <laughs> so we stopped at this plate there's a pizza place down the street um we're sitting on the roadside here Seems pretty cool. But the whole place to ourselves. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, it's probably a good thing. I got a pina colada. I thought there was another drink that was like indigenous to this place, but they said it was a pina colada, which, which I I doubt. What did you get? I had a margarita. It needs more tequila. So we'll not be getting another drink here. I hope mm. our pizza is good though. Much better than the pizza in Florida. No joke. <laughs> What'd you order, babe? Florida margarita. And? The bartender doesn't know how to make it. And it's weird because even though it's on the menu, she, she can barely read what's in it. So it's a very interesting process right now. <laughs> I wish we could film it. <laughs> Amanda calls the scientific experiment going on over here. Yeah. I'm just watching what she's putting in it. <laughs> yeah. You have a famous margarita. I didn't try it yet. <laughs> yeah, I didn't try it. She did good? She did good. Got more alcohol than pizza place. She did good. Yeah. She did good. I still think it's just tequila and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Can't ever get this close again to a waterfall. <laughs>